Okay, so back in the workshop, uh, ready to reinstall the carburetor. I'm just going to check that the uh, air vent is clear. There's no spider's nests or leaves or anything trapped in there. And stick a little bit of my copper grease as well on these studs so that if I ever have to get them off again, they're going to come free fairly easily. Now we can start to reconnect things. I'm going to refit the uh, air inlet and the bolts into the carburetor body first. And then just slide on uh, the gasket and the heat insulator that we removed before. Um, there's a little hook on the end just here that obviously aligns with the outside uh, mount here um, where the carburetor fits so we want that to be on there like that. Okay, then we'll just reconnect the throttle linkage and reconnect the choke linkage. I oh, don't dropped off again. There we are, working back across into position. And see if we can just start the bolts. Those are still on, they are. Put that one back where he belongs. And let me just, before I tighten things up, just check. Yep, that the throttle is working and that the choke is working and the choke is still opening the throttle also. So the mechanism's correctly connected. Tighten those bolts up. There's no need to apply too much force on this. Um, there is one unfortunate chap who's made a video about doing this and put it in a, on YouTube and he's applied so much force to this inside bolt he's actually managed to shear the bolt off uh, which would be a bit unfortunate. Okay so that's back on nice and tight. We can now refit fuel feed pipe and this overflow pipe and where's the second overflow pipe gone oh, there he is and then the breather <laughs> Nip up the connectors. One. And the 
this one can just be done by hand. Check again. And there we go. She's all refitted and ready to test. So we've got our uh, motor set up with uh, a little bit of water in the bucket. I'm just going to pump up from the uh, external tank. And then let's open the choke. and see what happens. <laughs> 